So we're gonna start the shoulder shenanigans with some dumbbell six ways. Now, I recommend you guys start your shoulder workouts with six ways because it is going to give you guys a massive pump in your deltoids and it's incredibly challenging. You're really hitting all three heads of the shoulder in one efficient move. Now, starting position, imagine just starting off, you're doing a lat raise. So you're bringing those dumbbells out and then next move, you're gonna bring them right across your face. You're gonna elevate it above your head. You're gonna go back down slow and controlled. You're gonna bring it back down to your sides. Think about the top position of a lat raise and control it on the eccentric back down to the starting position. So we call it dumbbell six ways because there is six moves in every single repetition. So I recommend that you pick a weight between, I'd say most of you watching this, probably gonna be picking a weight between 7.5 and 20 pounds. Now I go at the very heaviest on this, I hit shoulders today, I did 17.5 pounds for eight repetitions. The first two sets, I could not even do eight repetitions on set three and four. So it's a brutal exercise. It's gonna hit all three heads of the shoulder. So start off three total sets, eight repetitions, 60 second rest time. Next up, we got the seated dumbbell lat raise and I always go heavy on this move and I incorporate a good old drop set just to throw a little bit more volume in my shoulders. Crank up that intensity. Anytime you can make a move more intense, just go for it. On this move, there's a little bit of momentum. So I start off picking a fairly heavy pair of dumbbells. So I'll go all the way up to 40 to 50 pounds on this. Now, if you notice, on this exercise, I start off leaning forward and as I raise those dumbbells up, I'm rocking back and I'm going back and forth between slightly rocking forward and slightly rocking back. That truly is the key to this move is that slight rocking back and forth and also keeping those shoulders under constant tension. So I'm not resting for basically any period of time at the bottom of each rep. So I'm going nice and heavy. I'm keeping my shoulders under tension with a really heavy weight. Let's say you do 50 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever it may be on the first portion of the drop set. I recommend that you drop that weight 30 to 40%. You do another eight to 10 reps. So if I start off say doing 40 pounds, I'm gonna drop it to 25 pounds and do another eight to 10 reps on the drop set. So this move right here, perfect for those bolder shoulders. You're gonna grow those nice big lateral deltoids doing this move so it's really a move that's gonna target the front and mostly the side of the shoulder. Third and final exercise, the dumbbell upright row. Now, since this workout is dumbbells only, I'm replacing the traditional upright row with the dumbbell upright row. Now, with this move, you wanna start off standing, you're slightly leaning forward, you have a slight bend of the knees, and the key with this move is try to eliminate your traps as much as possible. So think about an imaginary string at each elbow and think about just rising your elbows out and up, holding those dumbbells in a pronated grip position. So you wanna go fairly heavy on this. I do recommend you go anywhere between eight to 12 repetitions on this, ideally at failure. So, you know, for most of you guys, I'd assume you'd be somewhere between 20 and 35 pound dumbbells and just think about that imaginary string where the initiation of the move all starts at the elbow and you try not to use your trap. So you don't need to go super high and squeeze your traps. In fact, I recommend you stop right at the point where you're seeing the video right now and go back down slow and controlled. So three total sets, eight to 12 reps. So keep on watching, cause I'm gonna give you guys my one month shoulder workout routine for masks. But first we have today's giveaway. One lucky person is going to win a full size tub of superhuman protein. And all you gotta do is comment down below if you had a pet kangaroo, what you would name it. So I'm simply gonna select my favorite answer. So really looking forward to seeing the answers. Comment down below and my top three favorite flavors in order. Number one, PB and Gains peanut butter candy flavor. Number two, I'm gonna go Cocoa Buffs. And number three, Anabolic Cookie Collision, which is coconut caramel cookie. So one lucky person is gonna get a full-size superhuman protein tub in any flavor they want. So if you guys have legging deltoids, a one-month training program to bring up those shoulders that I recommend is you do three sets of all three of the moves that I threw in today's video, but you start each shoulder workout with either seated dumbbell shoulder press or standing barbell overhead press. So simply just add one more move, just more of a compound mass builder. And I always recommend that you select the move that allows you to lift the most weight. So with shoulders, for example, the seated dumbbell shoulder press 
and the standing barbell overhead press are gonna allow you to press the most weight, but do not just rely on one of those moves because I see so many of you guys, you only do one of those compound moves and then you're neglecting the magic. And the magic is when you incorporate more volume, more time under tension, and you hit all three of those shoulder heads. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe, and share it. And if you missed the last video all about the three trap exercises you must try, I'm gonna throw that in the end cards over here in the description below, and I will see you guys on the next one. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights.